Hello, and welcome to the December 2020 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. All the entire month, Mars is visible throughout the night, high in the southern skies. It sets after 2 a.m. at the beginning of the month, and just after midnight towards the end of the month. Tony Cook, our astronomical observer, took this picture of Mars through his telescope last month. The dark feature at the top of the image is Certus Major. The gas giant planets Jupiter and Saturn, which were prominent high in the south throughout summer, are now visible low in the southwest this month. This picture was taken last month, showing an overexposed moon below Jupiter and Saturn. As the moon moves around the sky in its orbit around Earth, the moon will rejoin Jupiter and Saturn right after sunset on the evening of the 16th. Notice that Jupiter and Saturn appear closer together compared to the picture taken last month. Let's zoom in to take a better look. Crescent moon is about 5 degrees below Jupiter and Saturn, while Jupiter and Saturn are separated by the diameter of the full moon. But that's not all. Jupiter will move even closer to Saturn in the next few days in a great conjunction. The reason this happens is that the two planets are within our line of sight, as seen in this solar system view. As Jupiter moves in its orbit around the Sun, its separation with Saturn will decrease as seen from Earth. We can see how this plays out each night in our evening skies right after sunset. On the 17th, Jupiter and Saturn are separated by eight-tenths of a moon's diameter. How close will the planets get? The following sequence through the 21st shows the movement of Jupiter towards Saturn. On the 21st, Jupiter and Saturn will be at its closest separation. They will be about one-fifth of a moon's diameter apart. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. The last time they were this close was July 16, 1623, over 400 years ago. The next time we'll see this again is March 15th in the year 2080. It will be possible to see both planets and the moons through a telescope in the same field of view. This is definitely an opportunity not to be missed. The winter solstice occurs on the same day as the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter. On this day, the Sun reaches its most southerly position on its path around the sky called the ecliptic. From Los Angeles, the Sun is 32 degrees above due south at local noon, the lowest noontime altitude for the year. The December solstice marks the first day of winter in the Northern Hemisphere and the first day of summer in the Southern Hemisphere. While there's a lot happening in the evening sky, let's not forget the morning sky. On the 12th, look for the waning crescent moon above the brilliant planet Venus. Don't forget to mark your calendars for the Geminid meteor shower. The shower peaks on the night of the 13th through to the morning of the 14th. Best time to watch is after 1 a.m. on the 14th. This shower produces from 50 to about 100 meteors per hour as seen in the clear dark skies. Here are the moon phases in our holiday-themed calendar. Last quarter is the 7th. The new moon is on the 14th, first quarter is the 21st, and full is on the 29th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, happy holidays, everyone.